Molecular mechanisms underlying the pathology of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, or ADRD, have been researched substantially but have not been translated well into effective therapeutic strategies. Drug discoveries based on experimental animal models have consistently failed in clinical trials, raising questions about the effectiveness of targeting ADRD pathology as a treatment approach. Therefore, there is a need to explore alternative drug discovery approaches in ADRD. A multi-center team of researchers led by the National Institute on Aging proposes a novel omics-based approach to identify targetable molecular pathways contributing to ADRD pathology. This strategy forms the rationale for Drug Repurposing for Effective Alzheimer's Medicines, or DREAM, a collaborative and multidisciplinary study. As abnormal metabolism has been associated with the pathogenesis of AD and other dementias, the first step of this approach is hypothesis generation based on metabolomic, proteomic, and transcriptomic analyses of brain and blood samples to identify metabolic pathways that are dysregulated in AD and are associated with the severity of AD pathology and progression of clinical symptoms. Next, in hypothesis refinement, approved drugs for other diseases that target genetic regulators of these metabolic pathways are nominated as candidate AD treatments. Using two large real-world clinical datasets containing more than 20 million older individuals, the DREAM study then tests whether exposure to these drugs lowers an individual's risk of AD and can be repurposed for this indication. The study also highlights potential limitations of common pharmacoepidemiological analyses that typically arise from biases due to follow-up duration, treatment adherence, and misclassification of exposure and outcomes, given that the asymptomatic phase before ADRD diagnosis can be prolonged. The researchers also suggest measures to overcome these biases. Drug targets identified from this pipeline can then be tested using in vitro and in vivo models, and those showing promising results can further be validated in human clinical trials. Overall, the proposed approach can enhance the identification and validation of novel and effective therapies against ADRD.